Hey guys, this is Natalie. I just wanted to walk you through a quick, hopefully uh, simple solution for some of the issues a lot of people have been coming to me with about either not being able to get their microphone to connect to Pro Tools first or not being able to hear sound out of Pro Tools first. One of the major reasons this happens with Pro Tools is because Pro Tools operates as its own audio device and a lot of times it's usually working um, with some kind of external like preamp or um, another system that's not the computer itself or um, not relying on the mic to be a separate device or produced from a separate device than what the sound is coming out of. Pro Tools works completely um, in its own little world and that can be kind of confusing. So a really easy step to fix this up and you know, there's, there's various ways to fix this, but what I found is probably the easiest is if we go into setup, we can take a look at hardware. And what we have right here is any kind of hardware that Pro Tools recognizes, such as your any microphones it sees and any outputs it sees. Um, it also creates a, um, an aggregate um, input-output system, which is usually what it defaults to. Right now, your aggregate system is um, what Pro Tools is pushing together basically to be both a simultaneous input like a microphone and an output like your speakers. And Pro Tools can only look at one single place for both of those things. So you want both of those to be set up in this Pro Tools aggregate. Right now my default for Pro Tools is to have, um, when Pro Tools just sets up, it looks at my computer's built-in microphone and my built-in output. However, I've got this USB microphone um, at, at work. Um, that's a Samson CO1U. It's a pretty standard USB mic, and I want to record from that. I still want to hear out of my built-in output, but I want to hear anything recorded from my Samson CO1U and not the built-in mic. So I'm just going to go ahead and select that instead. And since this is a Mac, that's going to change it automatically. And I'm going to click close. Now, what this is telling me is that I do need to save and close the session before um, it will actually recognize that. So now it's reopened. Oh, it's, let's see here. Okay, now that my program, I had to restart Pro Tools first because sometimes you have to completely restart the program before it fully recognizes a change in your inputs and outputs. Now we can see that my input is actually grayed out because it was originally looking at my um, internal microphone and we're not using that anymore. But if I click on that and I hit interface, which is anything coming um, that is Pro Tools is looking for, especially as an input or output, we can see I've got in one and in two. Um, the Samson is weird where it'll actually pick up two paths instead of one. We really just need the first one, which is the main input of this USB microphone. Now, when I hit record, um, we'll go ahead and see the Samson's off to the corner, but if I um, clap over here, you can see that um, now the Samson is picking up instead of the internal microphone, which is over here, and you're going to hear a lot more noise because you're listening to my internal microphone. And that's how you set up an aggregate, aggregate device in Pro Tools. Hope this helps.